Hey there, how are you doing? I sincerely hope you're all doing great. So thank you so much for joining me today and a very, very warm welcome. So the Markles, that is Samantha Markle, Thomas Markle and Thomas Markle Jr. have actually decided that the only way they are ever going to communicate with Meghan is through speaking to the UK media, right? insulting Megan through the UK media and just saying all kinds of nasty things. Well, I'm not going to forget the fact that Thomas Markle Jr. runs a platform on YouTube where every content of his is very insulting to Megan. Some posts are even very racist. And then Samantha Markle is always giving interviews to the UK media. One day she's on GB News. The next, yeah, you'll see her on Good Morning Britain. Like she's always everywhere. And then, of course, Thomas Markle, this man also can't shut up. You know, I believe as a father, your responsibility is to take care of your child, right? But Thomas Markle, just like King Charles, has failed terribly at that. His only concern is getting paid by the UK media to slander his child, which is actually such a shame. This man turned 80 years old on 18th July, yet all he cares about is still speaking about his daughter to the UK media. How does he even expect to mend this relationship if he keeps talking to the same people who bullied his daughter and his grandchild? In fact, um, Thomas Markle actually talked to the Daily Mail about how the only thing that he wants for his 80th birthday is to speak to his daughter. You certainly don't go to the same people who racially abused your daughter saying that she comes straight out of Compton and also abused her son, Archie, and then you expect Megan to just forget all about that and move on and even forgive you. Like, that is not going to happen, Thomas Markle. As long as you keep talking to these people, it just shows that you have not changed. And there were a couple of articles written by the Daily Mail on Thomas Markle's 80th birthday. One saying, uh, Megan, Megan's who I want to hear from on my birthday, says Thomas Markle. And then another one, Thomas Markle ce celebrates his 80th birthday without daughter Megan, who he hasn't spoken to for six years. Now, don't forget that Thomas Markle actually has other grandchildren whom he has never met or spoken to. But all he wants is to speak to Archie and Lilibet, the same children whom he has aided and abated in abusing. Make it make sense. This man definitely doesn't care about Megan. He doesn't care about Archie and Lilibet. All he cares about are the photos that he might probably get by a meeting with Archie and Lilibet and Megan so that he can sell them to the UK media. What Thomas Markle, Samantha Markle and Thomas Markle Jr. have always cared about is money. It has been their motive all this time. Now that it's been so easy for them to be paid off just to give an interview. It's pretty pathetic. So according to the Daily Mail, they were stating, Markle also suffered two heart attacks just before the ceremony, preventing him from walking his daughter down the aisle. Since then, Meghan and Harry have not communicated with Thomas and he has never had the opportunity to meet his son-in-law or grandchildren, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Well, whom are they trying to fool? The only thing I remember is Thomas Markle staged photos for the paparazzi. He also admitted to having done that. So this heart attack came after and we are not even sure if Thomas Markle actually had a heart attack. But what prevented him from attending? from attending Harry and Meghan's wedding was because of his own actions of talking to the UK press from the very beginning. Meghan and Harry pleaded with 
Thomas uh, with Thomas Markle to speak with them to let them know what was going on but Thomas Markle had already made his choice and that was colluding with the UK press and Thomas spoke to the Daily Mail saying that I've never been one for birthdays but I know the one person I most want to hear from Megan won't be in touch you know why Megan won't be in touch? Because she gave up on the father she knew a very long time ago. This Thomas Markle that is here talking to the Daily Fail and the rest of the UK media each and every single day is not Megan's father. Megan already mourned her father and this is not him. So whatever shenanigans Thomas Markle would love to pull, whatever things he'd love to say about uh, his daughter, that is long gone. He had the chance to amend uh, his relationship with Meghan, but he did not do that. The only thing he cares about is speaking to the UK media day in, day out. And then the saying that Thomas has a cliffside home in Rosarito, Mexico, 250 miles from the Sussex's 16-bathroom mansion in Montecito. You know why I'm laughing? I don't understand why the Daily Fail continues to reference Harry and Meghan's 16-bathroom mansion. Do they actually have to uh, mention the number of bathrooms that Harry and Meghan's home has? This to me screams obsession and jealousy because Harry and Meghan are doing so well that they could afford a 16 bathroom mansion. Anyway, they're like, his living room is proudly brimming with memories of Meghan, including her graduation photos from the little, uh, from the little red schoolhouse, kindergarten and immaculate heart high school. There's also a photograph of the father and daughter attending the Emmy Awards when Megan was around 10 years old. This is just for sure. We all know that. It's because Thomas Markle knows very well that the UK media love to visit him in his home to get him to talk about Megan. So what he does is put up photos of himself and Megan all over the living room so that people can start pitying him. This is very, very disgusting considering that Thomas Markle's actions don't show that he actually cares about Megan. So no one cares if you're going to put a thousand photos of you and Megan like that time is already gone. That era is gone. You may have been a father to Megan when she was when she was young, when she was little, but right now you're no longer a father to her. You've shown that through your actions, you're not going to protect your daughter. You're not going to show love to your daughter. The only thing you care about is money. The only thing you care about is uh, people pitying you and the UK media being all over you and you giving them interviews. The same people who've continually bullied your daughter. I mean, come on. Even if you're the dumbest person on earth, I think anyone would know whom to speak to and whom not to speak to, especially when it comes to uh, you and your family and your children. So the fact that Thomas Markle doesn't know uh, whom not to speak to and just how to mend his relationship with his, do with his own daughter shows me that he actually doesn't care about that. All he cares about is money and huge amounts of um, and being paid a lot by the UK media. That is just all I think. Anyway, what do you think about Thomas Markle continually whining about how he wants to see Harry, oh, about how he wants to see Meghan, Archie, Lilibet day in, day out? Kindly just let me know what you think about this and then I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful and amazing, amazing day. Goodbye.